The oil and gas industry is a lot more complex than you may imagine. There are large companies like Exxon, Shell, and BP, but the industry goes far beyond these major players. In fact, the heart of this industry also lies in the supply companies that provide invaluable products and services to these heavy hitters. From the first exploration of a potential oil well to the thousands of finished products for end users, like toothpaste and gasoline, there are numerous opportunities for service companies in the oil and gas space. There are three distinct sectors that will help you understand the true scope of this industry. The easiest way to visualize this is to picture a river. Rivers have an upstream, a midstream, and a downstream. Much like a river, the oil and gas industry starts upstream with exploration and production, and it concludes downstream with the distribution and sale of numerous petroleum byproducts that are essential to everyday life. Let's take a closer look at this river. The upstream sector is where our journey begins. This sector is also referred to as E&P, or exploration and production. Companies operating in this sector are trying to find and ultimately produce crude oil and natural gas on land or offshore. Once the product is out of the ground, it must move down the river to the midstream sector. This sector of the industry handles the transportation and storage of crude oil and natural gas. There are many ways to transport these products, including trucks, ships, barges, trains, and pipelines. The oil and gas needs to be transported to a storage facility, often referred to as terminals or an LNG site, before they can continue on down the river to the refineries. Once it arrives, we are officially downstream. Here, the crude oil and gas is refined and processed into finished products and then sold to the public. The end of the journey from upstream to downstream sees the crude oil and gas refined into gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and byproducts used by chemical plants to create numerous consumer goods like pharmaceuticals, football helmets, insect repellent, umbrellas, fishing rods, paint, eyeglasses, detergents, artificial limbs, movie film, heart valves, life jackets, tires, deodorant, food preservatives, and so much more. Natural gas is also used by power plants to generate electricity. Speaking of electricity, let's have a light bulb moment together. In an industry so large, it may seem nearly impossible to a service company to get a firm foothold in a particular sector and secure jobs in multiple sectors of the industry. There are numerous trade shows and associations that you can attend and get involved with that are sector specific. To best find your niche in the industry, it's important to understand not only your capabilities, but also the different sectors and subsequent subdivisions between each sector and the ways they relate to one another. Let's take a quick look at just a few trade shows and associations that you could get involved with today. That looks like a lot of opportunity to me. But seeing the vast numbers of associations and trade shows is a bit daunting, isn't it? Where do you begin when there are so many options? How will you find the right niche for you and your business? The best place to start is with BIC Magazine. Because BIC Magazine is the largest multi-industry, multi-departmental energy publication in North America. So, if you want to find a comprehensive roadmap to making serious inroads and getting in touch with great opportunities in oil and gas, visit BigMagazine.com today or read the magazine online. Big Magazine is your all-stream connection to the oil and gas industry. For more information, call 1-800-460-4242 or click at BigMagazine.com. This animation was co-produced with our media partner, Launch Media. For more on producing your customized motion media content with Launch Media, call 225-612-2112 or visit www.launchmedia.tv.